In determining a great location by which to remember Professor Anderson, we knew that this terrace was most appropriate. From it, you can see the old theater space, now essentially remodeled into four classrooms. And with a turn of the head and a generation away, the 2008 Communication Arts Center here. I watched Ken make performers out of the most motley, goofy crew of theater nuts I had ever seen in my life. And again, as a young person, it was just such an exciting, great time in my life. It still is one of my best memories ever. We had singers who couldn't dance. We had dancers who couldn't act. We had at least one ex-con and a couple of people who I'm pretty sure kind of just walked in off the street and got sucked into the performance, you know? And uh, the thing is that Ken found room for every one of us. It was one of his best skills. He just made performers out of everyone. And I belonged, instantly accepted by the director. The most amazing thing about him for me has always been that he always made me believe, and I'm sure all of us believe, that we could do anything we wanted to do. He was so proud of anybody that was willing to give this a shot. And as you've alluded, you really couldn't get out of it too easily because he would remember and he'd keep coming and he'd just keep coming and keep coming. Every one of us all had to be in a play, um, started off as had to be, ended up as wanted to be. It is my hope that when people see the Ken Anderson Terrace, they will ask, who is that guy? And someone will tell the story of a remarkable man who gave people a home, just like he did to a frightened actress who sure she was our life was over in 1990. So I challenge you, go out and tell the story of Ken Anderson better than it's ever been told before.